This video will discuss Vesper theory and the topic of molecular geometry. Vesper theory is really short for the following. V is for valence, S is for shell, E is for electron, P is for pair, and R is for repulsion. So this is a theory which helps us to explain the shapes of many molecules. Many molecules have a linear geometry. They have AXE designations of AX2. The Lewis structure for these would be as follows. A is always the central atom, and X are the peripheral atoms. So there will be two peripheral atoms. These peripheral atoms may or may not have uh, additional electrons. So if we have a full octet for X, in this case X might be something like a halogen, chlorine or bromine, we would draw the Lewis structure like this. An example of a molecule which has a linear geometry because of AX2 designation would be carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is an example of a linear molecule. Bent molecules have an AXE designation of AX2, E or E2. I'm going to put in the 2 here. The example here uh, will look like this. So once again we have A and our X's. We'll draw in these bonding electrons right here, additional electrons on the peripheral X on the left. Now, E2, these are non-bonding pairs of electrons for the central atom. Valence shell electron pair repulsion tells us that the electrons of the central atom will push as far away from each other as they possibly can get. So these electrons here push as far away from these electrons here. So we get an angle of 180. Here, because we have four sets of electrons, non-bonding pairs here and here, bonding pairs here and here, which are pushing as far away from each other as they possibly can get, we produce a bent structure. Um, one example molecule that has a bent geometry is water, which does have an AX2E2 geometry or designation. Trigonal planar, AX3. Here, the Lewis structure would look like this. I am going to skip putting the non-bonding electron pairs on the peripheral X's. Um, in the case of chlorides uh, or bromides or fluorides, we would add those in. However, the peripheral X's could be something like a hydrogen atom as well. So they won't necessarily always have those additional electrons. AX3 will give us a trigonal planar geometry with an angle of 120 degrees. You see here that this structure doesn't really show us that, but that is in fact the shape that the molecule would have. Uh, a molecule like boron triiodide would have a trigonal planar geometry. Trigonal pyramidal will be AX3E. This would look like what we saw with trigonal planar with one modification. We're still going to have our peripheral X's here, here, and here. We have one non-bonding pair. This is the E right here. This causes bond angles to not be 120, but to be actually slightly less than 120 degrees. An example molecule that has a trigonal pyramidal geometry is ammonia, which has a chemical formula NH3. Finally, we have tetrahedral geometry. This has an AXE designation of AX4. An example molecule is methane, CH4. The Lewis structure for this would have our central A, bonding electrons, and then we would have four peripheral atoms. Tetrahedral geometry has an angle of 109.5 degrees.